This is N2PQJ, Steve, and I'm going to show you how I use Ham Radio Deluxe to make a contact during a, an HF contest. Right now I'm using an IC ICOM 746 Pro. I run about 100 watts uh, using a, um, a vertical and uh, I'll show you exactly how Ham Radio Deluxe is set up in the next cut. So here's Ham Radio Deluxe and what I've done is I've clicked the logbook uh, add and it brings up this field here and what I do is I pre-populate some things before I make a contact and that way it's a little bit easier. Uh, the first thing I do is um, when I have, when it's a sequential contest, if you put these brackets around a three digit number, after you hit add it will go up to the next number so you don't have to think about that when you're uh, when you're working stations. Uh, what I like to do is I like to go to the contest tab and I will make sure that it has the contest listed, the CQWPX SSB. And then I also like to put that in the comment field. Uh, I, I have it uh, copy and pasted because I, I, as you can see in my logbook, I like to have that in the comment field what I was, uh, what contest I was doing. That's just something I do. So I'll leave it on the logbook and I'll leave it on exact and that way I'll know if the station if I've worked them previously. Uh, I also like to keep an eye on the DX spotter boards. So this is my, uh, you can see the radio dial here and these are stations that are being spotted and on the bottom of the screen I have the uh, stations uh, with all the information. Down here this mirrors this with just more information. So this is what I'll keep up during a contest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up into the call sign field here and I'm going to listen for a, uh, a station. I'm going to populate that field. Click look up in order to see if I've uh, worked the station prior. And then I'm going to see if I can hear him give over his serial number uh, you know, at least once so I can have an idea of what number I'm putting in there. And uh, then I'll get ready to make the contact. Okay? Okay, here we go. Found a station. Kilo 9, Charlie Tango. I'm going to hit look up. And. Kilo 9, Charlie Tango. I'm going to look it up. One one three nine was his last. November two, Papa Quebec Juliet. November two, Papa Quebec Juliet five nine one one four zero. QSL five nine zero two eight twenty eight. I just say twenty eight. QSL QSL. Okay, so there we go. Now, what I'll do is uh, I'm going to spot him, and the way I'm going to spot him is I'm going to click the spot number. I'm going to add in the remarks what uh, contest it is. I'm going to hit send. It'll pop up right here, Kilo 9, Charlie Tango. There's my spot. And also it will pop up over here, Kilo 9, Charlie Tango. And then I also like to add the contest name in my comment field and I will hit add and this will go up and now you see how my serial number has populated up to the next number which is 29 and now I can go do my next uh, contact and with Ham Radio Deluxe I'm able to track all of my contacts and when it is time to upload to Logbook of the World it is as simple as choosing all the contacts that you want to be loaded up. And the way I know it is because I have a column that says LOTW sent. And so I will highlight them. I will choose the LOTW upload button. And I will now do upload. Servers might be a little busy during the contest. Yeah, 
There we go. It says it's been accepted. And now we'll do finish. And just as a joke, let's see if we can download anything. Let me do LLTW download. Now I'll see if I've had any uh, confirmations. I uploaded from earlier in the contest. And I can tell from my other screen here that there are no matches at the moment. But that's okay. I can check back at another time for those matches. So there you have it. Ham Radio Deluxe. And that's how I do contacts during a contest. Have a great day. Day.